lot of people, of course, in the last administration, remember some people were actually hired to pray for Nigeria, and they collected huge sums of money that should go into, you know, funding small businesses of Nigerians who cannot get jobs in the white collar, you know, uh, Kada as it were. We're looking at this now. This is a country that's always praying instead of doing the right thing. How do you think your campaign can actually change that? Well, let me start from the uh, word praying and not acting. You know, that is where we get the mix. We, we get it wrong. It is important that as you pray, you walk towards the prayer. Prayer alone will not take you to anywhere. You know, I had a lecturer when I was at Unilag. He would say, pray as if you had not read anything when your exam is coming. And read as if prayer means nothing. You know, if you can combine two, these two uh, 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 logics, if you can combine them together, you know you will get, you're going to get a, the best result anyone can get. Mm. So let's apply it to Nigeria. We should not undermine the influence, the uh, effect of prayers and the, the prayer warriors who, in this case, are the imams and the pastors. You know, it, it goes a long way when they pray, you know, for the peace, for peace to reign. Mm. You know, you can only get the mind and the energy to work for progress where there is peace. Where there is no peace, forget it, there is no policy that is going to work. Everything will just be, you, you, all those things that are supposed to be channeled, the fund that is supposed to be channeled towards developing the nation will be channeled towards fighting uh, uh, insecurity, mm. you know. So the, I think the first thing to do and the important message SDDC Strength in Diversity and Development Center and Interfaith Citizens Observers Network is, uh, these organizations are preaching mm. is that we should go out and vote and we should not vote based on any influence than your conscience. Your conscience should be your driver. Your conscience should be, okay, this person, we were sharing, we were walk, moving around uh, uh, the day we had rally yeah. last week Saturday and people were coming to us telling us where is the money? Give us money. Give us money. This orientation, this narrative has to be changed. You know, with this mindset, we are not going to get the best. We are only going to get the, one, the, the ones who, are, who have, you know, access to the treasury. Mm -hmm. Just take anything anyhow, disburse it, and, and then we come back to suffer for it for four years. You know, we are trying to preach against this. We are trying to preach against violence. You know, the, uh, the atmosphere, it's tensed up right now. Everybody, even all the world uh, 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 security, you know, forecasters, uh, experts are all predicting eyes on Nigeria. Nigeria. All eyes on Nigeria. So they are predicting, you know, uh, doom for Nigeria during the election and even after the election. So we are saying, we did this in 2015. We are going to do it even better this year. It's going to be better and it's going to be more peaceful. We are going to have it successfully. Mm. And Amen. by the grace of God, that's the way it's going to be. All right, then. Let's get you involved. 